fix them up! Look, there's markers floating all around me. I can use this TK <laughs>
die here now. But Earth, it's a tomorrow. tell you guys at home, I made it a real mind scratcher to try and figure out what to call this boss fight. That's the trouble with some of these interlocking story driven mystery games is that they don't give names to things and events can be a bit ambiguous. I decided to go for Tal Volantis's Brethren Moon mostly because Blood Moon didn't sound right and the moon's kind of a kind of isn't a necromorph, but like the plot says, this thing is a marker signal producer and there are more of itself in existence so Tal Volantis's Brethren Moon was a perfect fit. Mostly, I was stalling because the boss fight with this ridiculous thing was pretty underwhelming and considering Isaac was technically fighting the whole moon, that's pretty disappointing. If you remember the Hive boss from Gears of War 4, it's pretty much the same thing. Something big and stupid with kind of dumb gameplay hogging the final boss slot because the developers were drawing a blank on how to end the game. It doesn't help that most of the boss fight is waiting and dealing with constantly spawning ads while the boss slowly reveals their weak spot which happen to be giant glowing eyes with no defense around them, so Isaac can just launch markers at this giant necromorph king at his leisure. And what I wrote should have been one of the most epic, amazing parts of the game if the rest of it wasn't so freaking dull. We are fighting the literal moon-sized necromorph of necromorphs here. How can I manage to be bored? The big reason might be because the Brethren Moon just sits there waiting for the punishment to come to him rather than defending himself from the attacks directly, which would make this fight feel like an actual victory rather than a story objective. Plus, the final phase with Isaac just yanking the object through the Brethren Moon's skull feels like an ending a boss fight with a slow one button QTE. But that's what happens when half the team falls asleep at their desk when designing the ending. You get something like this rather than a Paper Mario Bowser Super Show. But thankfully the alien machine is running so the moon is definitely going to be stopped and there will never be another necromorph ever again ever. They are all officially dead as Dead Space 3 says so. I'm wondering what Isaac and John are going to do in the DLC then with no necromorphs. You think that Danik has so many dudes on Tau Volantis that they can replace what the series has lost? I guess we'll have to wait and find out then.